On a day celebrating Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy, his family is calling for action. Today, my message to you is simple. Do not celebrate. Legislate. People from more than 100 national and grassroots organizations join the King family in a march in Washington, D.C. They're demanding Congress pass the voting rights legislation. Don't tell us what you believe in. Show us with your votes. The legislation would give the federal government more oversight in setting voting regulations. Vice President Kamala Harris echoing the King family's call. This bill represents the first real opportunity to secure the freedom to vote since the United States Supreme Court gutted the Voting Rights Act nearly a decade ago. They're hoping to put pressure on Democrats Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. While both senators support voting rights reform, they oppose changing filibuster rules to get it passed. Eliminating the 60 vote threshold will simply guarantee that we lose a critical tool that we need to safeguard our democracy. No matter the outcome, the heirs to Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy vowed to keep fighting. We must keep the pressure on and say no more empty words. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.